Hey there, my name is Tristan O'Connor and today I'm going to be showing you one of the new features in our collage software which allows for touchback from an iPad. So I'm sure you're going, well, wait a second, we've only been able to do that with a Windows computer or a MacBook up until now. And you're right, except for the newest update with collage allows for touchback from an iPad as well without using desktop sync. So I'm going to show you how it works. First thing you want to do is you want to go to your panel and you want to swipe up from the bottom and then you're going to go down and find settings. When I find settings, I want to make sure wireless network is selected and then I'm going to go to Bluetooth. Now, Bluetooth's got a lot of different options and to be honest with you, I've already paired my iPad for this, which is why you see Tristan's iPad mini as a paired device. But what's important to note is that when you're reading Bluetooth, right underneath that Bluetooth word, it says an EK65CC number. Now that is actually gonna be the device that I wanna connect. So on my iPad, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna swipe up and go to my settings. Now you can see I've got my Bluetooth selected on the side here, and there it is, EK65CC. So that actually matches the number found right here on my panel. I'm gonna make sure I select that on the iPad. That's how it knows to connect. All right, so it says it's connected. Next, we're not gonna do the traditional experience where we type in that six digit code. In fact, what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna go to the main interface of Collage and then I'm gonna go into the settings and you'll see that there's two things that you need to turn on. The first is iPad touch control. Make sure that's enabled. And you'll also notice that it says this feature is only available when using AirPlay. So let me clarify, that also means that you need to turn on support AirPlay device. And I've got my device about ready to go. All I've gotta do now is go to my iPad and swipe down from the top right corner and find that screen mirroring capability. Now, I've got my device here called T-Studio. If you didn't know what the name of that is, it will be in your settings in collage and I'm going to accept it because I have permissions mode on. So, as is the way, I'm able to essentially drive this no problem, right? I've, as I would be able to do with any other device, I can annotate, no problem, erase in this case, and we're good to go, but here's the fun part, okay? I also have the ability to completely control my iPad from the screen. So if I wanted to, I could have someone come up to the board and annotate or maybe solve a math problem that I'm writing out as an example, or maybe I have, um, you know, I'm actually taking some quick notes and I wanna go have people come in and edit them. I mean, these are just examples, right? Even still, maybe I've taken a photo from my iPad of a document and I'm gonna have people come up and annotate on top of that. So you can see, this is a really easy way to not only connect, but I can say, hey, take a picture when you get that view and there you go. Um, fortunately for you guys, you got a terrible view of my really messy uh, office, but in the meantime, I think that this is a really great innovation and pretty hard to find out there. So just one of the cool things ClearTouch keeps adding to either your existing experience or anything like your 6000A Plus or Next Hub. Thanks again.